All right, today we're gonna to be testing the towing capabilities of this Ford Ranger. One, because Ford Rangers are incredible, and for two, because we can't use our actual towing rig without getting pulled over. So today, we're gonna to be towing our towing rig with the new towing rig, the Ford Ranger. All right, so anyways, last night, Mark and Tint, our buddies came over and uh, put a gooseneck hitch in the back of Mike's Ford Ranger. Then Mark brought over his gooseneck trailer. <laughs> so, uh, this video is sponsored by, by Mark. Mark. This video is sponsored by Mark. <laughs> hey, Mike. I promise you, if like this thing gets scratched or anything, we'll like pay to get it fixed. Like the, that kind of stuff. Paying to get it fixed includes buying it. All right, so what do we got for the mounting system here? Is this actually mounted to the frame of the truck, or is it just bolted into the bed? <laughs> Bolt. A little bolt. <laughs> <laughs> may or may not be through some wires. Yeah. It's good. So you're telling me this isn't standard Ranger equipment? Dude, it's gonna be worth so much more. <laughs> yeah, Mike, you're gonna be able to sell the Ranger with a tow package now. Yeah, so this is actually Mike's personal vehicle. Like, this is what he uses to drive around yeah, as a daily. He might be looking for a new vehicle after this. The trailer weighs 8,000 pounds? 7 to 8,000. And what? the truck weighs how much? 7,000. Our truck weighs more than that, I think. 8,000? I mean, we're gonna have probably 16,000 behind. And how much does that Ranger weigh? 1,600? A 2003, I think that's 2003, a Ford Ranger weighs 3,030 pounds. <laughs> This thing squats less than Ryan's TRX. <laughs> I think it's just gonna ride on the bump stops. It's gonna bottom out and just, just go. Or his tires are gonna blow. If anything's gonna give, what part do you think it's gonna be? The frame. Really? <laughs> it's pretty rusty. Oh, well, I guess that is one it's thing the, we didn't touch on. The outside of the yeah. Ranger it looks pretty bad. good. And then as soon as you get underneath it, you see all the years of living on Minnesota roads oh, with salt and what it'll do to a frame. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. That's what the trailer's connected to. <laughs> it's actually working pretty well. Now this looks proper. This is a towing rig. <laughs> Literally, my leaf springs are going like this. Oh, oh Mike, Mike! Mike! What are you doing? Mike, you just put it in those trees, bro! Mike's just scratching the side of our truck. Did Ryan tell you to do that? Look at these people, they're confused. Hey! hey. Our team of truck broke down, we're taking it to the shop. I love it. <laughs> this dude just running through the pine tree. Dude, he broke the fucking GoPro right off the mouth. And I scratched underneath the. Mike! What the frick, Mike? Jesus, Mike. <laughs> Holy ceramic coat, I did. Put a dent in no, it. No. There's a dent right here, a I know small one. I didn't put that there, I'm it's saying. The GoPro hitting it. Oh. Damn. You, are you haven't even driven out of the freaking parking lot yet. Ryan, you already Ryan, up. It's now safe to say the chief dummy title has been transferred. Alright, I'm not driving. <laughs> I'm not driving. Mike, everyone gets roasted when they f up. Yeah, I know, but like, not everyone gets chief dummy zoned. If you drag a hundred thousand dollar truck through the trees, you deserve to get in trouble. You drove your truck, your Jeep through the trees. That's exactly, and that's my car, and I got made fun of for it. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying I didn't drive the truck <laughs> through the trees. Well, that mount's done. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Mike, no angry driving now. You can't angry drive with a gooseneck. <laughs> this thing's gonna go into the ditch.
This thing tows better than the SEMA truck. Dude, I was like lowest gear possible, just whoa, trying to make it. It works. The truck smells a little warm. Yeah, yeah Tim said hot. it was burning all the carbon. Oh, you could just smell it. Yeah. What does that mean? Just carbon. cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Yeah, this is actually good for your truck, Mike. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy lawn box thunder, buddy. <laughs> Mike's chirping that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Traffic, but we don't care. Who built the truck? Ford. Oh. No, but they did it like that. Oh, you're not oh. talking about the Ranger. Oh, <laughs> oh, that truck. <laughs> I was gonna say no. It's just a normal Ranger. <laughs> That's a nice truck. Thank you. I think it's a '99. You guys have a good day. Thank you. You too. That was so funny. Yeah. What year is that? It's a '99. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Are you a transporter? I'm a truck driver. You're a truck driver, so yeah. you can respect it. <laughs> this is hilarious. Well, if you ever want to get into something more practical, you should think about a Ranger. You should think about a Ranger? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That back there is a, like a power stroke or something. You have to give it to the Rangers, man. This thing's like a what, an 01, 03? 99. This is a 99. This thing's with, older than Ben. With how many miles? <laughs> 125,000. Oh, that's not that many. Yeah. A 1999 Ford Ranger Ooh. XLT can tow up to 2,400 pounds. It's like I the, think it's mostly like how much braking power the truck has and like how, what the frame is rated for. I feel like the frame's gotta be rated for at least 100,000 pounds. <laughs> So Ken's sleeping in the other bay. We're gonna wheel this golf cart in very slowly. That also happens to have train horns on it and uh, give him a little bit of a rude awakening. All right, so it's that time of the year again. Hey, Cody, Ken's older brother, who also happens to be a lumberjack, is lighting his big pile of like trees and logs and all this stuff that he has been accumulating for like the past six months. And this is going to be a massive, massive bonfire. Probably the biggest bonfire you can possibly have. Careful, like a wolf. Holy shit. You do look like a wolf. Kind of like he's gonna attack me. Oh, all right, never mind. I'm not gonna touch it. This is gonna be really nice because it also happens to be freezing tonight. It's like negative 10 right now. Alright, 
Jeez. Oh, fuck. How long do you think he's gonna go for? A couple days. You just have to sit here and watch? Yeah. You got the bad boy Ram crew. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Got the whole neighborhood out for this yeah. one. This is everybody left in the winter. <laughs> Pretty sure we got a, a smoke tornado forming or something. Dude, what what do we got going on here? Smoke NATO. Look at this right now. This is crazy. <laughs> it just started like lifting us up in there like a tornado. <laughs> we started seeing cows going around. This is what it looks like every time you open up Ken's office door. You're doing it. It's so hot. Ah. Oh shit. I made this for you. Holy fuck, that's burning my face. Oh, it is chocolate, by the way. Oh. <laughs> what? I can't have chocolate. I can't have dairy. What? Ken. You know how the amount of dairy that was in a marshmallow? I, I will sh my pants. <laughs> All right, if you guys saw the last video, we uh, started playing this game called Roomba Pool. We put a Roomba onto the pool table, and then it knocks in all the balls, and the last ball standing wins. We're having a party tonight, just for Roomba Pool, because we want a full roster. We might all form roster. It's an eventful night. Fire going on there. Roomba Pool fight. This is like a, a small town version of horse racing. <laughs> I got a hundred bucks on Woodley against CJ for Jake Paul, so. I already knew, based on the cheers, I already knew. Hey Mike, do you prefer cash or Venmo? Cash. That's a vibe. That's perfect. We decided to not do the whole grid thing. We figured it might be a little much. Right, it like would start freaking to get sun. to be too much with the mirrors. Like, All right, so this was like the, the final cherry on top of the shop build. We started it about a year ago. I want to say the beginning of December is when we first got the shipping containers. But before that, this was basically just like an open warehouse. So we got the shipping containers, painted them red. It was funny because like for the six months leading up to that, every time we'd walk over here, people would be like, what are you gonna do with all this space? And we were like, oh, we're gonna put shipping containers, then we're gonna build offices on top and have like a work bay underneath. And basically nobody understood anything we were saying. So it's pretty cool that a year later, everything is basically exactly what we said we were gonna do. So quick little run through, we finished up the gym finally. I wanna say like a month ago, Grind Fitness sent us all this workout equipment. They were watching the videos, they thought we were getting tubby. I'm not gonna say anyone in specific. We built this out, so we got storage on top there. <laughs> Basically, we'll put just anything that we don't need to use like during the season, like, like the shifter carts and all the tires that we have and everything else that basically we just need to put away. I guess we never really show this, but we just use the insides of these for like... They're relatively unorganized. This super like unorganized. Step. This would probably be the next step of just like cleaning these up. But we just put everything that like you don't want to see and all like the gas and shit so it doesn't stink up the shop. We are actually thinking though, the shipping containers are kind of unutilized for how much space they take up and the shop area in the middle is pretty small. So maybe one of the next steps we would do is like cut a hole in the side of the shipping container and then make it into almost like another little work bay so mm -hmm. you can you can have like a project going on one of them or maybe do both of them, project over there, project over there, utilize the space a little bit more. Other than that, we're kind of, I think we're done. Mom, I want a half pipe. Oh yeah, and a half pipe <laughs> and a foam pit and a big mega ramp in here. I wanna get a zip line too. I don't know where we would put it, but a zip line from up there. Oh, and a fire pole. But we've been talking yeah, about that since the first sure. shop. We gotta get a fire pole. Fire zip pole. Be sick. But yeah, from, right there, down from the over there bay. down to the merch bay. Oh yeah. my gosh. All right, so there's more things. Stay tuned for the next video when we start re-renovating our shop. I think that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we got a really good video coming on Thursday. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you then.